ideas you'd be a fool to mess with. They're just plain good. That's tradition, right? Well, on today's show, you'll see an ocean racing team that defied the modern trend towards catamarans and built a classic V-bottom boat that became a cat killer. The V design has been a tradition and a favorite for ocean racers for many years. But then a couple years ago, catamarans came into the picture, making these Vs obsolete. But a group named Team Apache decided not to bow to the fad. They built themselves a V-bottom boat named Warpath, and the ocean became a stage for a showdown. Team Apache, a special blend of American powerboat racers. Ben Kramer, driver. At 30 years old, the youngest offshore powerboat champion in racing history. Bob Staseni, throttle man, a veteran racer and boat builder, president and founder of Apache Powerboats. Keith Eckert, engine designer, an expert at constructing peak performance racing engines. Don Arnault, hull designer, design consultant and fable boat builder. Maintenance and mechanical, the best that money can buy. The Warpath was built at Fort Apache. The lightweight hull is made of Kevlar, a material one-third lighter than fiberglass. The engines are two modified 454 cubic inch Chevys, fast and dependable. These guys are turning very good speed. They're doing 75 miles an hour, 80 miles an hour in huge, huge seas out here. I don't estimate their size, depending upon whether they're an old salt or not. It's anywhere from four to eight, but they're big, big seas, bigger than Sarasota. Big enough to stand the 50 foot Popeyes right on its tail again and again and again. We're going right now 90 miles an hour. These guys are amazing. They are walking away with the race. Look at this boat handle. Whoa! They are on the warpath. The Apache team is on the warpath. They're going like mad. And here comes the winner in offshore class two. This is the world championship. Ben Kramer in a 69 boat warpath. 